In this video, we're going to take a look at the Pythagorean Theorem to find what is called the hypotenuse. When we have a right triangle, or a triangle with a right angle in it, we can name each side of the triangle. The two sides next to the right angle are called the legs. The longest side, the one across from the right angle, is called a hypotenuse. We have a relationship from geometry that connects the two legs and the hypotenuse together. The Pythagorean Theorem is the name of this formula, and it is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where a, b, and c are the three sides of the triangle. Now, we can switch a and b, the two legs. However, it's very important that c is always the hypotenuse, or c is always the longer side, the side that's across from the right angle. We can use this relationship a squared plus b squared equals c squared in order to find a missing side of a triangle. Looking for the missing side of a triangle, we remember the Pythagorean Theorem says a squared plus b squared equals c squared, and the important side, side c, must be the hypotenuse, must be the side that's across from the right angle, c. The other two can be a and b in either order. It doesn't matter there. And so we plug this in, a, I marked as 2 yards squared, plus b, I marked as 7 yards squared, equals c squared. So on the left side of this equation, we just have some order of operations we have to walk through to solve it. Doing the exponents first, 2 squared is 4 square yards, 7 squared is 49 square yards, equals c squared. Combine like terms, 4 plus 49 gives us a total of 53 square yards, equals c squared. In order to solve, in order to find c, we don't want it squared, we want it unsquared, or the opposite of squaring, we're going to take the square root of both sides. It's important to notice the square root step is always the last step. The square root should be the last thing we do. And using our calculator, the square root of 53 is 7.28 yards is equal to c. We now know the missing side. Let's try another example. Here, we've got the base of a ladder that's 4 feet from a building, and the top of the ladder is 8 feet up the building. Let's draw a picture to see what's going on. Here's my building, and I have a ladder leaning up against it. We said the base of the ladder is 4 feet from the building. So from the base of the ladder to the building, that's 4 feet. And the top of the ladder is 8 feet up. So we're going up here, 8 feet, and we want to know how long is the ladder. We're hoping the building makes a right angle with the ground so it's not tipping over, no leaning tower of Pisa. And to find the missing side of a triangle, we know it's a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And the important side, c, must always be across from the right angle, the longest side. The other two are a and b in either order. So a, we're going to use 8 feet squared, plus b is 4 feet squared, equals c, that's what we're looking for, squared. Order of operations, doing the exponents first, 8 squared is 64 square feet, plus 4 squared is 16 square feet, equals c squared. Combine like terms, 64 plus 16 is 80 square feet, equals c squared. And again, the very last step, it's always the last step, is to take the square root so we know what c is equal to. We unsquared the c, and using our calculators, the square root of 80 is about 8.94. 94 feet. a squared plus b squared equals c squared.